What's going on, Arc Fam? This is Arc Live! Ah. <laughs> okay. It's a very cathartic feeling when you hit something. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Welcome to Arc Live. All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Arc Live. Uh, I'm here with a very special guest, friend of the show, Kizzy K. How's it going, bro? It's going pretty good. Good to see you again. It's been a long time. A very since... long time. <laughs> I, I saw the the the, the pre-show rolling through with all the old clips of Arc Live, and I'm like, man, that was a different era. Dude, that was like four years ago. <laughs> right? It was a different time. Isn't it crazy it's... to say it was four years ago? That feels bizarre. Like. Just, just seeing all those old clips, like so many good memories. But we're back. It's been a long time. Uh, thank you for joining us for the second Arc Live on our, our uh, resurgence, as it were, as we're all coming back into the full swing of things, doing offline again. Mm -hmm. um, so today we have a pretty exciting show lined up for you guys. Um, like I said, Kizzy's here, a long time friend of the show. We're going to be going through a lot of uh, DNF Duel for you guys, showing off all of the game modes, uh, playing some matches with some characters uh, you've seen trailers of, but maybe not too much game footage yet. Um, but before we get into DNF, uh, just a quick recap. We did have a pretty major balance update for Guilty Gear Strive recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I want to say that uh, that patch was uh, pretty big. It did a lot of uh, changes that I was very surprised about, and I was very excited for it. And I think uh, the coolest part is uh, the system uh, changes that you guys did uh, definitely implemented a lot of great things for uh, all the characters. Uh, and I think uh, long-term-wise, it's such a great thing to have. So. Uh, so far, I'm really excited, uh, and I'm still excited uh, about all the changes that Guilty Gear has been bringing, and I'm looking forward to see what other people discover. For sure. That's like the craziest part about a new patch, right, is that you see all the notes come out, and you see everything listed there numerically, and you're like, that's really cool and all, but like, let me get my hands on it. And so now that we're a couple of, uh, I, I, a little bit of time out from when the patch came out, everyone's experimenting, finding new combo routes, the meta of the game is evolving some more, so... Um, how do you feel like your characters got impacted, I guess I should ask, since you play quite a few different characters in Strive? Honestly, I want to say every character I play actually feels like a different character. Oh, wow. uh, and um, honestly, and when I mean a different character, I mean like uh, like a character, like for example, uh, Chip. I feel like Chip uh, is morally the same, but what makes him different is I feel like a lot of like of the system changes that I am allowed to like do special routes or like special confirms and combos and things like that uh as far as kai as well like kai also like the system change alone makes him feel so different because now when you get like certain hits the possibilities is never ending now mm -hmm. uh so it feels like i'm playing a different character again right but morally the gameplay is still the same but like the whole idea like you're not limited to this you're not limited to that this is a possibility uh it's so great and it feels uh, really fun to just go back and try things out, you know, and try things again. And I really hope that the patches uh, long term will still be like that in the future of the game. I think what I really appreciate about like the, the dev team over in Japan is that I can never know how they're going to rebalance the game. Uh, so they find really clever solutions to opening up the game for different combo routes, right? Where it's like, oh, my counter hits now have like the slowdown added. And so we took this mechanic that's already in the game, like these big heavy normals, and then sort of adapted it to these lighter hits so that your combo routes open up and the, the game is a little more freeform, uh, which is really cool because they, they find really clever ways to change the game and keep it fresh and interesting. So if you guys haven't gotten a chance to check out the Guilty Gear Strive um, new patch, uh, I highly encourage you to do so. Experiment with some characters. Go back to characters maybe you tried before but didn't spend too much time with to see what they have that's new. And then, uh, you know, tune in to support your boy. Yeah. Check out check out new content yep. on the it's new characters. And I'm going to be playing every character. And, you know, another thing I want to stand out, too, is I really like the fact that this change, uh, just the patch, even characters that were already strong, they still feel have like they have their, like they have their own personality. Their own identity. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, and I really, really like that. Even though there are some characters we would want to have top tier. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't want top. But the fact that they still have their personality, it's always great. So, mm -hmm. like, it's, a, it's, a, it's still more of appreciation of, Thank you for at least having that character be that character. Right. It's not no character at all. Yeah, even if even if uh, I feel that as a former competitor, where it's like, I, I, even if there are characters that I have give my character a really bad matchup or something, I never want the person playing that character to not be having fun. Yes, um, Even exactly. if their character infuriates me, I'm like, you should still yeah. be having a good time. Yeah, so. you should still have a good you time. You should still have a good time even if I hate you and your character. And, and I think season two, <laughs> I think season two Strive did that phenomenally. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, even characters like Anji, I thought character, I was like, oh, this character might be done. And then like with the new dash cancel, like the system mechanics allow them to at least do something different and they still feel like a different type of character 
and like you know it's still fun it's still fun to explore for sure and that's one thing i'm glad that strive did it's for season two i hope they do that for the future of this game as me well. me too there's a lot more content coming for guilty gear strive but that is not the core focus of today's show today's show is about dnf duel so uh, the majority of our show will be focused on DNF game modes, gameplay, characters, and I think we have a little bit of footage for you guys before we get into the game ourselves. Oh, nice. I like to hear about footage, huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, showcasing uh, what this game has. Because, you know, I was really interested that this game was going to be at launch for $50. And I was like, man, $50, I wonder if there's, like, not a lot of stuff to do and things like that. You know, a lot of questions, you know, uh, you know, be uh, get asked to yourself and, you know, you want to get answered. But sometimes you got to wait until the game release to get the answers right so now we get to check it out right now i'm so excited to be honest with you all right then let's transition right into it Right, so you guys got to see the intro for the game with all the, well, I should say uh, a bunch of the characters show, yeah. showcased in that uh, intro. Um, so, yeah, pretty sick. <laughs> you couldn't hear us while we were muted. The whole time we were just, like, getting hype over here about how cool it looks. Man, I was, like, <laughs> sitting here. I was just like, wow, this is the game. I actually got to spend $50 for it. I was like, this is a pretty yeah. beautiful game. It looks pretty good, I was right? like, it looks pretty yeah. beautiful. <laughs> there's such a, such a cool, diverse cast, too. Like, there's, like, I, I'm going to be playing character archetypes in this game that I don't usually play just because the characters look really cool. Yeah. So I'm pretty stoked. Um, yeah, I was going to say, too, you know, another thing that stands out as well. It's like, you know, I, I for at first I was like, man, these characters are not going to like how they're going to have like names. But I like how they have like their whatever archetype they are. Yeah, I like that, yeah. It's that, really cool. That's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, that's pretty cool. Like, you know, I was going like, who's the main character? But it, it feels like everybody's just going to be in here. And it's just going to be like this all in like brawl. You know? I think it's something that Ark is really good at in general is adapting like source material into a fighting game set like um, setting and and adding these cool references to the source material, wh whatever it happens to be, in this case, Dungeon Fighter. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to jump into a lot of the game modes right now and show you guys what this game has to offer mm -hmm. uh, because there is more than just the, the fighting itself. Uh, so we're going to jump over to the main menu here. Uh, unfortunately, as the game is not out yet, we can't show off the online features. So we're going to be mostly focusing on the offline content here. Uh, so if you jump over down to the local mode, you have your offline versus mode. Uh, full story mode, which again, uh, we'll leave it to you guys to see. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much for you guys. There's a arcade mode, so if you're a old school arcade head and you just want to play uh, against the CPU in like a eight stage tournament setting, uh, learning the game, it's a very good way of doing so. And then my favorite mode, which is survival mode, uh, where you get to play a lot of matches in a row, up to a hundred matches in a row against the CPU, uh, where you'll basically gain experience points as you as you move along. Uh, and upgrade your character with different stats, sort of like an RPG. Uh, kind of faithful to the source material, you know what I mean? That's really cool. So um, we'll be focusing mostly on the, the training mode uh, and the tutorials for you guys, since it's going to be a first look for a lot of you to help you understand the game. Uh, we don't want to jump in and just show a bunch of gameplay with you guys not knowing what's going on, right? So mm -hmm. uh, if we jump down to practice mode, uh, we'll jump into the tutorials here so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, 
Really big fan of the tutorial in this mode, honestly. Man, you know, honestly, wow, hold up. So you're telling me that you get a character overview and you get a recommended for, oh, that's so cool. I love this. This is a really this, cool solution, right? This is what I think that all like tutorial modes should kind of have. So like, you know, like it's, it's always good to like ask questions and like, you know, look up videos and like figure out things like that. But it's also really nice to just be able to like plug in your controller and just try to figure out like, okay, what are these type of like, you know, what is the character that I'm playing? Like, what is it? Is it, mini is it, is it for me? Is it user friendly? Is it going to be hard to get? Like, you know, you get to ask these questions, these, uh, these stuff like ask, the, uh, answer the questions for you. Like, right? why you're asking that, why you're looking for the characters and things like that. Exactly. Uh, I this think is so good. I think it's one of the best, like, first places to stop if you're learning this game, right? Because uh, if you're new to fighting games or you play a lot of fighting games or you're not sure which character is for you, uh, it's a great solution where you can come here and sort of do an overview of, like, hey, what does this character do? Uh, what is it recommended for? Uh, and you're going to find somebody on the roster that sort of fits the sort of play style you want, right? So mm -hmm. you can scroll through here and see what all the different recommendations are. Um, we'll jump into Berserker since that's a... Uh, beginner the, friendly. Beginner friendly, yeah. <laughs> recommended for beginner friendly, right? Uh, so we'll go through the... the Introduction to game rules. Okay. Man, I, I kind of like that, you know? It, it's it, really it cool. Gives me, I, I really like that, like, they really, like, kind of, like, talk to you, you feel like. You yeah, know, like, exactly, like, right? It's kind of like talking to you, you know what I'm saying? It's like giving me a conversation, right? Yeah, 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 and I really like that. I really like tutorial modes that are very, like, interactive like that, you know? It's like, there's so much you can read and, like, learn. And there's a lot here to learn as well, since DNF has a lot of game modes, a lot of uh, system mechanics going on as well. Um, and what I like, too, is that you're not locked into uh, a specific character to do the tutorial, right? So if you want to, if you really have your heart set on a specific character, you can go through these game modes um, with whatever character you want, and you can and you can you can learn everything at your own pace here. So it's going to introduce the game to us, talking about stuff like you know player one, player two, the HP gauge, what all the different meters do, different rounds, mm -hmm. oh, your timer. So a lot of pretty standard fighting game things here. Uh, but again, since I'm playing as Berserker, I'm going to be able to to move around as them and experience them firsthand. Nice. And then same thing here, where there's there's it's letting you go at your own pace, right? So if I want to sit here and, and learn everything uh, really intricately and memorize everything I can, um, or I can go through and, and, and if I'm familiar with fighting games, I can run through it a little quicker. Mm -hmm. So this game does have several movement options. You can walk, crouch, forward dash, back dash, jump, and then depending on the character as well, there's unique movement based on which character you're playing too, which is pretty cool. That's so dope, man. You know, uh, it's so cool that they imp uh, implement all of this. And, like, you know, it's kind of like a three-button fight. Well, I guess four-button fighter, right? And, uh, you know, and it's really nice because, you know, reading all of this, it's like, and hearing that, yeah, it's characters with multiple dashes, things like that. They're still able to do that in a game where it's four buttons, you know? It's exactly. really nice. I really like that. Nice. It's cool. You get all oh, defense basics. We do have uh, a guard button as well. Yep. And then what my favorite thing is having the dodge roll. And every character's dodge roll is like a different animation too, which looks super sick. Yeah. It adds a lot of character to them as well, which I love. Nice. Like even the, the basic system mechanics have like these unique little flares and touches to them. It makes the game really visually interesting. Yeah. Dude, let me talk about look, Can we talk about the aesthetics of the characters? Yeah, they look so cool. Bro, like this dude Berserker looks so ridiculous, man. Like, I, I just feel like when I, when I watch this game, I, I just feel like I'm just watching like a CMV. You know yeah. what I mean? Like <laughs> everybody, totally. everybody just got ridiculous combos. This game's gonna look so cool in motion. Once, I, people, once people learn the combos for this game, they're super satisfying to do. Everyone has like crazy sauce. Like, really? Yeah. Can, can, after we after we get through this, can we can we look at oh, some? Oh, we'll, we'll do some we'll do some combo trials. Can, can, yeah. yeah. We can, can we, we do some can combo we, trials? Can we check the condiments? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can absolutely check the condiments. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, right. Another system mechanic to the game is Awakening, um, which as a someone who started fighting games in Persona, I love seeing this. Uh, very, very reminiscent of uh, other Arc System Works titles where you have uh, buffs to your character as you get lower in health. Oh, so okay. once your character hits 30%, they enter Awakening. Uh, you have more meter to work with. You have 200 max meter. You get access to your Awakening Super, uh, which does a ton of damage. Uh, and then every character has a unique mechanic to them in Awakening. That's so Which is super, so cool. super cool. It's That's super, 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 cool. super dope. And you know what's cool about like this? Is mo it, 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 adds, it also uh, adds, like, new strategies and things like that because, you know, sometimes you're not going to want the opponent to get into a waking mode. So you'll try to do some ways to, like, kind of, like, 
knock them into like a little bit before they get in awakening mode and then try to kill them off and things exactly. like that. So you do like cool like skill strategy. And then also if you do get a chance to get in awakening mode when you get animations like this, bro. <laughs> super sick, I mean, super my, man is, my man is about to eat, eat you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so cool. So. I love uh, when fighting games uh, force you to do interesting meter management, not only with, like, your 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 resources that you have to, like, do supers or EX moves, but, like, your health, right? And yeah. so managing your health and your opponent's health, trying to deny them awakening by, like, doing a big combo so they never get access to their wing condition is super cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love stuff like that. And like I said, every character is different. And so you get a different like wind condition in Awakening depending on the character. Uh, I think we actually booted a, a, um, a trial version of the game. So you'll have to excuse some of the, the text there that is not, this is not the final version of the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you'll have to excuse it. Nice. It's so cool, super cool. It's super duper cool. Uh, so we'll jump to some of the meter in this game as well. Mm -hmm. So the meter below your health bar is your MP gauge. Uh, so your MP gauge is what allows you to do some of the really big explosive uh, special moves in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a resource, right? So if you run out, uh, you'll enter this uh, like depletion exhaustion mode where you cannot use any more of your EX moves. Uh, and you're at a real big disadvantage because you have to wait for it to come back. Ah, I see. So you really also got to be very conservative with your meter. Yeah, exactly. Like that. that that makes sense. That's cool. It teaches you about how to block different types of attacks. So you're going to have to crouch block a lot of low attacks, stand block, overheads, and jump ins, that sort of deal. Nice. So that's really cool that they actually like kind of show that like different guards like right off the back, right? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, I'm sure everybody. Everyone's every probably server. seen some Twitter clips of the guard break in this game. Yeah. Uh, but the meter next to your health bar, uh, that's kind of uh, the vertical meter that's next to the timer is your guard break meter. Mm -hmm. uh, so if your opponent's being too defensive, you can break their guard and get like a free combo. Uh, it takes a while to break their guard because every block move they block depletes that bar until eventually they can no longer block. Yeah, dude, that's so sick. I just like all of their guard animations. Like they yeah, look, they're I'm all just, too. I'm just looking like, dang, it's so cool, dude. You all can right. also spend your uh, meter on defensive options as well. So if somebody's on top of you and you really need to get them off, you can attack out of guard by spending 100 MP, uh, which is a really good like get off me tool. Like if you're if you're worried about getting guard broken or you're worried about uh, blocking, then it's a, a pretty safe uh, move at the cost of a lot of resources. I like that. It seems like I have the balance of a lot of things. Like, oh man, there's a lot of stuff going on, but you still got like a move to get off me with, you know? Exactly. Pretty cool. Nice. And you know, uh, another thing that I was always want to ask too is like, uh, did you feel like when you're trying this game out right now, like, do you feel that like, even though it seems like very simple, uh, do you still feel like it's like time investing? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So um, when I was playing this game for the first time, um, uh, the, the inputs are not super difficult for this game, but the combos actually, the you can do really easy combos that do pretty decent damage, but if you get into like the more juicy stuff, a lot of the combos actually are a little execution heavy uh, and really satisfying to land. So for people execution who, heavy. yeah, for people who enjoy um, like longer combos, like the, it's teaching you some basic things, right? You can go from like lights to heavies to like, uh, special moves into like EX moves, but the stuff you can do in this game is actually way broader than I think people even realize. Um, once people get their hands on this training mode, uh, get their hands on the tutorial, and like really understand what their options are, like the game opens up quite a bit. Nice, that's actually very cool and nice. I like that. I, and one thing I like about fighting games too, it, it gives you an indication of like this was a punish, yeah, absolutely, you know, this was a counter hit, this was a ground attack. So I'm really happy that fighting games still are giving you uh, these little indications that, like, this is what happened. Exactly. Because, you know, I feel like when so much is going on, it's like, what happened there? It's nice for players like me, too. So I'm a person who really likes enjoying uh, learning the game in matches. Uh, I, I like training mode, but I'd rather spend my time actually playing matches. Uh, and notifications like saying, hey, this is a punish, uh, really help me know, like, oh, this is reliable. I can do it every time. I know that this was a punish. Um, which is really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, so that's the, the basic tutorial, right? That teaches you most of the system mechanics about the game. And then everything else in this tutorial is character specific. So every character will have uh, a unique tutorial, a unique tutorial just to them teaching you because everybody is super unique in this game with different mechanics. So for Berserker example, uh, it shows you every single move in your arsenal, what it does, 
and then it tells you what you should be doing it for, right? And no so way. it's super it's super great. So can we you, see that? You can totally see it. So here's my whole move list, right? Okay. And down here, uh in A the bottom powerful right. zoning move that sweeps at large areas ahead of you. Ooh. So it's a little slow, but it's got this big hitbox, right? And so if I'm just booting the game and I don't really know, like you can you can figure this out yourself, but it's it's way more efficient to come in a training mode and have the game tell you like, hey, this is what this move's for. Or if I'm trying to do upward slash. Oh, so it's like oh, it's an anti-air move. Uh, slash wildly upwards uh, with your Zambato. I think that's the sword name, right? Yeah. Nice. So it's like oh, okay, I can use this to anti-air, or I can use this maybe like in a combo or something, like to to get an extension. Same thing with the Gore Cross, where it tells me uh, it's a ranged move, right? That I can use to sort of attack people at a distance. And see, this is so great because uh, you know a lot, I feel like when getting into fighting games. A lot of people ask, like, man, like, what is, like, how should I use this move? Right? Exactly. And I feel like the game explaining to you how to use these moves gives you, gives the player an idea, or like, if they want to use it a certain way. Yeah. Right. But you at least get like a base form on like what this move is for. And exactly. I think that that is so great. It's such a. It's a really great like jumping off point to learn a new character, learn the new game in general. Like for example, like my my airborne blood smash, right? Where it's telling me use this move to attack from a position that is hard to counterattack, which is a very polite way of saying be very annoying with this move because it's huge, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> it's, yes. a, it's a very polite way of being like, hey, do this, right? It's 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 strong, um, which is like a great jumping off point where if I if I've never played Berserker before, I can come into the training mode and be like, okay, the game's telling me that this is this is good. Do I'm gonna move. go do this. Yeah, do this move. <laughs> do this move. It's good. <laughs> a move that will allow you to get wins. Yeah, exactly. Please use this move as much as you as want. As much as you want. It's very strong. <laughs> yeah. There's no limitations. <laughs> and then it also teaches you about their awakening as well. And so for a Berserker for example, once you hit thirty percent and you enter awakening uh, any attack starts recovering my HP. Bro, so for crazy. like Ragna fans, uh, I like you're gonna. I like, I like how his hand was going. <laughs> you see how he's a Ragna fan? His hand yeah, Ragna fans, look at his arm. <laughs> <laughs> my man was like, look at my hand, bro. <laughs> but look how much health I'm, I'm regening just off of like even like a basic combo, right? Like it's a pretty substantial amount. Mm -hmm. And so like you have to be really careful if you get Berserker to low life because before you know it, they might not be low life anymore. Yeah. And, then and in Awakening. They're in Awakening the whole time. We're so 200 meters. Even though I'm recovering my health, once I've like popped Awakening, I'm in Awakening. And so I have access to like my super move uh, while I get this health regen as well. Right, I can like combo into like, my super if I was if I knew the character better. <laughs> um, which is great. And then the actual combos as well. Are here too so Ooh. they range uh from like pretty beginner standard combos that aren't too difficult to pick up to pretty long more can we, technical can we, can we combos just, can we just see the technical combo we just, i just want to see like a, we'll, we'll jump to it we'll I, jump. Or, well, I don't want to scare people off and be like okay. you, you have to you have to do this to play okay, the okay, game okay, right because okay. okay. you can you can start the game just by playing with really basic combos that are only a few buttons and it does a pretty decent chunk of damage mm -hmm. uh not too difficult to understand uh good jumping off point and I like that it just works everywhere, right? It's yeah. pretty effective. <laughs> and honestly, believe it or not, I'm sure everybody's going to be doing those combos. Yeah, I, at least when you start. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and if you'll notice as well, every one of these uh, tutorials has a different move that the the combo starts with. Mm -hmm. So it'll tell you, hey, here's how you uh, you get into a combo off of your standing A or your crouching A. Uh, here's like a better version that uses like different moves, uh, all the way to like doing anti air combos or anti air combos too, huh? Spending lots of different meter. Oh, that's so cool. So something as well to, to know about the way this game works is that if you look at Striker's health bar, there's that red health that they've lost and then the gray health that they can recover. So the gray health will come back over time unless you get hit with a MP move. So these moves that spend some of my MP gauge will get rid of the gray life. So if I'm doing this combo, it ends in an MP move, and they don't have any gray life when the combo's over. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this game as well is about knowing when to spend your MP to, to cash out that like potential damage that uh, the, your opponent hasn't quite taken yet. Wow, uh, that's uh, super cool because it seems like a strategy within a strategy. Yeah, totally. Fighting, right? Because uh, you have to manage that meter, so you might not have the meter at the end of your combo to do uh, like a the mana move, like a mana move to to cash out the damage if you were spending it too recklessly. So we'll jump into some of the uh, 
some of the some of the juicier spicier combos. I just, just want to see one combo. All right, know? all right. Let's do, do one uh, combo. Let's do this is a mid screen combo and a super. Okay, let's see how beautiful this looks. All right, I can't do it, so we'll we'll let it show off for you. Oh, that's so <laughs> sick! Yo, stay down there. Yo, that's so <laughs> sick! Yo, <laughs> that's so sick. That's so cool. I just like that, you know, games give you the choice of, like, being able to do these cool combos. Exactly. Know? And it's a fun challenge. Like, you don't have to do these combos, right? But just seeing, the, like, the idea and, like, just the potential of certain things, it's always nice to see, you know? Yeah. I really like that. Totally. It gives you the free form to, to, to you know, learn combos if you want or just the basic things. Mm -hmm. uh, the final aspect of the training mode, which I really like, is this challenge mode. So if you're having trouble with something specific in a match, you can come to the challenge mode and learn how to beat it. So let's say uh, I'm getting jumped in on all day. I don't know how to beat people who are just jumping at me nonstop. There's a challenge here specifically for anti-air attacks. Oh, they um, specifically picked the character that probably got a good jump. <laughs> yeah. They like, done that. They were like troubleshooter. Trouble jumping. <laughs> trouble anti-air. Yeah, trouble anti-air. I'm getting shot. Um, Again, this is not the final version of the game, so I have to ex ex uh, excuse a little bit of uh, the uh, the work in progress here, right? But if I'm getting hit by these like big jump in moves, this uh, trial, well, see, this, this is the the the, the challenge is they'll change their jump in timing too. That's super cool. So that they actually, actually change yeah, it. That's yeah. So you have to. It's like a real match where you're gonna have to actually pay attention to like what they're doing. Oh, they even bait you! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. Yo, that's so cool, bro. Oh my god. Yo, they even bait you. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna. I, I, I'm gonna get at least one, wait, and, wait, then wait. I, and then I can have my pride. Okay, look. look. Yeah, Ooh, there we go. Right? Bro, that's so cool. And the best part about it is, it's like because they change the timing, I feel like you can always come here. Yeah, practice. totally. Exactly. Like, it's never like a one-dimensional way of learning. It's multiple ways, and I feel like this. Also, just help people just get into fighting as well. Like, man, this guy keeps jumping at me. And look, you even found various other ways. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can do like air to airs instead as well to, yeah. to pass the trial as well because you don't always need to be doing your big, juicy, like grounded anti air. Uh, if you're worried they're going to have like a move that delays their landing or something, you can meet them in the air instead. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's lots of trials like this in the tutorial uh, where it's like, hey, you landed a counter hit, do like a big, juicy combo, or you blocked somebody's reversal, you can do a punish combo. Um, all these different things, which is which is super duper cool. Uh, so I highly encourage you to check out the training mode. I think there's a lot of good info here, both for new players and for fighting game players who are sort of new to Dungeon Fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, just learning the game, learning what your specific character can do, because like I said, you can pick anyone from the roster, which is super, super neat. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to play some matches too for you guys as well. Oh, yeah. So uh, we want to play some games, huh? Some video, some video games? I mean... I, I've heard you play some fighting games, so. Oh, you did? I, I heard. I heard you're, you're a fighting game player, as it were. Wait, who told you that? Oh, uh, I, I watched the I watched the stream, dude. What stream? Oh, your stream, which you can find at uh, uh, Twitch.tv. Wait. <laughs> slash, me. Yeah, slash KZK. I don't know if that's. I think me, that's accurate. Man. All right. You, you're telling everybody the secret. <laughs> the secret. Is that a secret now? It's a secret. it's a secret to support your boy. Yeah. It, well, it's see, it's a. It's not a secret to support you, boy. <laughs> oh, oh okay, a, my bad. But it's a secret that I play games. Oh, right? I see. oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, all right, look. So now we got that. Uh, this is cool. And you can change the input delay. Oh, nice, that's cool. So for the people who, you know, the online monsters. People who are used to arcade uh, input delays off from other games. Yep, you know I got to pick the goals. All right, you know I'm playing with Master is my oh, main. Oh, man. <laughs> right, let's go. Uh, where are we going? We're going to. Uh, you want to check new stages out? Can yeah, go them? go wherever your heart desires. Bro, you already know I'm going to chaos. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we're going to chaos. You know what I mean? We're fighting. We're, we're fighting. We're getting ready to fight in the moon. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> help! Someone help! Someone said help! <laughs> Let's go, dude. Man. So these characters were not in the previous beta. I well, Ghostblade either. was the last. Last one? Yeah, last one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, he was the last one, but I think everybody else. Swiftmaster revealed pretty recently, so uh, some more gameplay for you guys of these characters you might not have seen too much of yet. Uh, Swiftmaster, a very, very tricky character. Uh, fastest, like one of the fastest characters I in the mean, roster. He's showing us how strong he is with, Yo, the, you know, with the win. You it's know so I mean? good. All the intros are so good. I love these. I just like. So cool. Look at that, bro. <laughs> I, got a, I got a ghost, bro. This is not fair. It's two on one. 
I mean, absolutely not fair. You got, you got the power of win. It's true. So I have moves that draw my opponent closer what? or push them away. Uh, so not only am I super fast, but I can also change where, where my opponent is centered too, right? So I can attack you from ranges that you, you might not be expecting. Super cool, man. He seems like a very heavy neutral character. Super, super heavy neutral. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, as you can see, my character has a sword. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you got a little bit of range. Yes. Ooh. Oh, you got, you got a little spiral sword? Spiral wins? Okay. Oh. Okay. We oh, almost had it. Oh, I'm getting jumped in on it. Should have done more of the trial. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, and there goes all my gray life. Because the MP skill. Yo, put me down. I try. <laughs> Oh no, that was good. Oh, messed up. I don't know what that was, but you know what? <laughs> Stop letting me free go. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Yo, it never ends. <laughs> it never, it never ends. Send help. Fighting for my life, bro. All right, come over here. I like how you just. <laughs> I don't have a choice. I don't even have a choice, man. Ooh, oh. Ooh look nice at my, grab. Nice look grab. At my garb. My garb. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, it's recovering now. Oh, there goes all your meter, though. No! Okay. Ooh, ooh. Nice. I want to play that character now. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Oh, thank God. Oh. This Am I dead? Oh, I missed. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, nice block. Ooh. So All right, close. don't worry. I'm going to get it. <laughs> you going to get the combo? I'm going to get the combo. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna show people there's something in this, this character. Bro. <laughs> I just like that my ghost. I, I have a conversation with a samurai ghost. You understand that? Oh. Uh huh. I like how you just pull me. Just, <laughs> that's so crazy. You are in my range now. <laughs> Our range, you mean? Okay. <laughs> oh, I like that. You pick that up. I do. <laughs> if only, man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. Woo! Ooh. If you oh, okay. I'm in awakening now, so I'm much faster because I'm awakening. Oh my God. How how can you you can pull me? You could get faster. Uh-oh. 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 You got those? You got those? Oh. You don't got that. You don't got those, bro. I almost had those. Bro, that was so <laughs> sick. Yo. I was like, yo, you got those? I was like, hold up. Let me find out. Okay. Yo, my, are you our neutral or our neutral? It's our neutral, bro. I told you. Ooh, my health, though. Oh my god, I got so lucky. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. Bro, I was like, how'd you block that? <laughs> that's so sick. How'd you block that? Oh, nice stagger. Okay. We out. We out, baby. No, I lied. We can never be out. Oh. Whew. Bro, his combo is so sick. You got those? Oh. Oh. We definitely throw uh -oh. out. Oh, okay. I might be dead. Let's <laughs> go. Oh. Uh. Oh, uh, we putting you in the Hulu film, baby. <laughs> Premium only.
Let's go. Oh my goodness. That was so sick. Oh, Ghost Blade is so cool. Dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. You know the problem is with this game. The, pro the only my my biggest problem is I like sword characters, and there's too many swords. There's so many, dude. It's there's like swords everywhere. There's swords everywhere. <laughs> so if anybody asks, like, man, what character you play? I'm literally gonna tell them the weapon of swords. Yeah, I play every sword. Yeah, I play every sword that you can think of. Oh, that was so nice. <laughs> like you, at any time, you can just do it. You know what I mean? Oh, nice. Uh oh. Woo! Woo! You got those? You got those? Oh! Okay. Side swap. Alright, get this, get this ghost out of here. Come on, man. Ghost, uh oh. Uh oh. Ghost gotta uh -oh. play uh -oh. too, bro. Uh oh. Ghost gotta play too. Oh! Right, get off me. He gotta get off me, button too? Oh, I'm exhaustion now. Woo! Nice. Ooh, all right. What a Pick combo. <laughs> Man, that's a jab. Up. Yeah, yeah, a jab with uh, all wind. <laughs> all yeah, wind. Counter, counter poke <laughs> wind. Ooh, nice air to air. Oh, bro. And still getting pressure after it, too. Bro, I love this character, man. <laughs> I feel like I feel like every 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 company is like, they watch my stream, they're like, yeah, we know he like this. Uh-oh. Nice we tag. We know he like this. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought you had it, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just saving my meter. That's all. Oh, okay. Off from there? Oh, too far. I was about to say, bro. It's okay, I got rid of the gray life. Ooh, Ooh. Nice anti here. Uh oh. Bro, that's so <laughs> cheap. That's so cheap. Oh, oh, nice guard too, much, too much, too much, <laughs> too much. All right, neutral over. Neutral over. <laughs> where's my, where's my insert coin? Oh no! Yes. I might have dead. Ooh. <laughs> I have no range is safe. <laughs> no one's safe. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, nice conversion too from that range. Ooh. All right. Oh. Uh oh. That was nice. Oh, my toes. Yeah. Hit me low. Oh, I mash buttons. <laughs> Man, Ghost Blade. Swift Master. These characters are sick. You know, I'm going to try to switch up. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, that was fine. Let me see who else we got on the roster, too. You know. Uh, we'll try, we'll try this one out. We'll try this one out. Now you have a sword and a gun. Yeah. A <laughs> sword and a gun. That's all you need. <laughs> Tell you, bro. I can't run away from swords, bro. It's all, it's all a sword, you know? Troubleshooter is super sick. Dude, I mean, his name is Troubleshooter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that alone. Cause some trouble. Throw some, <laughs> throw, some, throw some grenades. Throw some grenades throw and cause some, some trouble, dude. <laughs> <laughs> troubleshooter. You got Shooter, you got Gunner, and you got Troubleshooter. <laughs> all your bases are covered. Yeah, he got all the angles covered, dude. So when I was, uh, as someone who mains grapplers in fighting games, uh, when this game was first announced, I was like, man, who am I going to pick? And then they announced the Grappler, and I'm like, I'm in there. <laughs> is, it, is, is he everything that you envision for a Grappler? He's so funny. I, I love Grappler. Like, he, he's uh, he's everything that a Grappler player wants, which mm -hmm. is like, I have armor, I got command grabs. I'm in there. Oh. Bro. Yo. Bro, look at this, bro. This is a normal. <laughs> and this, is a, oh, this is also a normal. Grenades. Yep. You know, you know what that means, right? <laughs> Stay away from grappler. No grapplers over here. Woo. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, Ooh, what oh, a I like that. I like that. I like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, what the grenade? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Huh? Uh -oh. Oh, <laughs> bro, that's causing trouble over here, bro. I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm causing Send trouble. Help. I'm about to cause trouble in the Arx's office now. Oh, never mind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, cool. Whew. Okay. 
Oh, he's drinking. Yeah. Oh, let's oh go. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, uh, this is what. This oh, is here what, we go. This is, this is what grappler, Party time. This is grappler, grappler's dreams right here. Oh my god. Oh, let's god. go. Bro, I was looking so good. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, What's just going a few on? minutes ago, bro. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Bro, I was looking so good. <laughs> Chuck, I put it in the court. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, did we lose the, the camera stream? Oh, I think we did. All right, we're playing off. The oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, bro. We got to adapt. Give me a minute. That's, 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 that's it. Oh, oh nice, my God. Nice. Okay. Let me in there. I got to get in there. Oh, bro, from that far? Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, I'm in oh, there. Oh, my God. Please. Mercy. You know, we gotta spend it. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. We gotta spend it, bro. Oh, I'm in there. Oh. Oh, here oh, we go. Please. Please. Look, I can explain, bro. I can explain. Oh. I lied. I ain't explaining nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, I explained. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> oh, you're okay, lying. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Dude, we were supposed to showcase the characters. I am showcasing Grappler. Yeah. What but, do you mean? But he's not troubled, <laughs> Grappler. Though. I don't know. You, you're looking in trouble a little bit. I was, ve I was very in trouble. <laughs> very, very in trouble. I'm, I'm a Grappler player. I know the round starts. Oh, you do? Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Ooh, oh, I'm getting shot. Yeah. Oh, nice. The king of armor. Oh. Uh oh, you know what time it is, right? We out. Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright, I like that. We out. We in. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, no, the grenades. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm stuck here. <sighs> Look at this grenade. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Dude, it's so cool, bro. Help. This is Troubleshooter Redfield right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Help me. Help me. Oh, nice. Good block. Oh, good roll. Oh. I don't care about the grenade. Bro, I'm in my, there. My man Grapple, he don't care about grenades. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, uh -oh. I take that. Oh my god. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Are we out? Uh oh. Come on. I'm in danger. Come on. Ooh. Let's go, bro. <laughs> this is why. This is why I gotta do the grapplers, bro. Look at this. Yo, you're sending me to space. <laughs> Down. <laughs> oh, I'm an awakening though. That's okay. Look what you've done. Is it okay? Yes. Is it okay? It's okay. Is it okay? Yes. All right. You're you're exhausted. I know. <laughs> I'm Is exhausted okay? fighting you grapplers. <laughs> you got absolutely correct. Oh. Woo. Oh. Oh, nah, my toes. nah, I'm nah. Like, oh, nope. I thought. Bro, you really oh. try to roll over there and grab me? I got me? to. I got to get in there. You see, you see, you can't trust grapplers, bro. Well, just just block. I did. <laughs> I, block, I blocked you away from me. Oh. Oh, he got reckless, huh? It's cool. Huh? 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 Oh, I thought I had the combo. Don't worry, we just got the names. Oh. Jump. Oh, I tried. We're in. I tried. It's bad. Okay. My toes every time. Alright, awakening time. Ooh. Ooh. There's so much. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Yo, he got guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many guns do you yeah, have? He, he, he got you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's so cool just doing things with this character, man. Okay. I have the troopers on around start. Oh nah. <laughs> glad 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 I'm glad I'm ignorant to the situation. Oh he even puts himself in conversion too, huh? That's cool. Ooh. That's cool. Oh, never mind, I lost. Oh my god. Okay. We can still breathe. Oh, I almost died! Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Bro, my grenade. You understand what a grenade does, right? Not to me. Oh, not to you? Oh, okay. 
You want you want to I simply want, built their fit. Do, do you want to do you want to pull up the Google and, and read it together? Yeah, you can. But yeah, you my, wanna, my you armor doesn't care. Yeah, one of my best advices: you want to be away from it, <laughs> not not tackle it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! I have a scrub. Oh no, meaties are hard. Okay. No, here I am. Yes. Oh, that was so, such a good roll. Right. I even got to give it to the grappler. Oh, here we go. Damn, I take it back. I took it all of that. Ooh. Bro, from that four? <laughs> oh no, my toes. Okay. Oh, he's an awakening too. Alright, I'm being shot. Yeah, I'm being yeah. shot. <laughs> Send help. I need I need backup. Bro, I'm taking Boy, that I want that I want that I want that guard bar. I want that guard. I want that guard, my my amigo. Come here. No. Come here, bro. Alright. Come here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm alive. I'm, I'm chilling. Come on. Come on, bro. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was pressing buttons. <laughs> I think if you hit literally anything, I would have died. Dude, that's <laughs> how I'm just letting you know. I was hitting all the buttons in the world. I just wanted you to know. I, in my mind, I had the attention that one of them was going to hit you. <laughs> I wasn't sure which one was going to hit you. I was staring at But the one face. of them was going to hit you. <laughs> I was looking into the face of God. Bro, I was, looking was at, terrified. Bro, I, I tunnel vision at that great life. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's all I see on the screen. I didn't even see what was going on. <laughs> oh all right, my goodness. Let, you know, let's try. Who are we gonna try? Oh, we'll try some launches. Oh, okay. perfect. Some of the new characters. Ooh. Ooh, with the colors? Yeah, you know, you know, you know I'm a color of blue. You know I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a man of blue. You know what I mean? Okay. That was so funny. <laughs> dude, bro, see, I had, seeing bro, my gray life just dude, like be ninety bro, percent I, of my health. Bro, I can just tell by those interactions. I already know what his unique awakening. Yeah, skill I know, is, bro. right? You're like, and that's I get definitely it. your I guard. Understand. I'm definitely that guard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, yo, you gonna be, you gonna be losing a lot of life. Bro. That shotgun's like full screen. Bro, I'm just like just dude, sitting there blocking. Dude, it's mad slow, but it just feels like it hurts. You know, we are diametrically opposed because grappler's awakening is reducing chip damage. That's so that's crazy. that's with my awakened reduced chip damage that's too. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, he don't care about that. Absolutely not. Now look at the stage. Uh oh. All right, go forth and hold down the neutral. Oh, look at these buttons. Oh, look at this button, bro. Right, that's a problem. Bro, I I think I always pick the characters that I just naturally like to think do the things I like to do. Okay. Oh, we got oh, a cannon? I'm getting shot. Okay. Oh, we cable. <laughs> okay. We we cable with no subscription. Let's go. <laughs> Come here. Oh, you're shooting my son. Come on. How dare you? Okay. Ooh. Oh, nice challenge. I'm mashing. Bro, what is that? What oh, is that? <laughs> that is a, that is a gunner. Okay. I don't like that. Oh, the ant oh my god. Uh-oh. Right. Oh, you deplete my freaking, whatchamacallit? Oh, you're shooting him. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No time for Nice. You know what time for bro. No time for bro. Oh, no, I'm being shot. Oh, look at that life bar. Come on, meter. No, no, you don't. Oh, I don't. Clearly. Come on. Woo! 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 I almost, I almost held out. Bro, she got some normals, dude. <laughs> the artillery. She got it's yeah. too much. Bro, she got the whole nation as weapons, bro. Oh my goodness. She, <laughs> she's never in a bad situation. Let me tell you that. All right, your meter is my meter. That's so cheap, by the way. <laughs> yeah, huh? Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ooh, that's so sick. Never mind. <laughs> I take that all back. Okay. Oh, of course, you already know. You already know. How do you got, keep finding the grenades? I know. Every character I got got like some type of grenade, right? Oh, nice. Okay. 
Oh, right into the Ooh. gunshots. Right into the gunshots. Ooh, that's so sick, bro. Oh, nice. Hey. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Where are you bro, going? Full screen. And it steals the meter. Bro. That, that move is so cool looking. Does she get it back when she steals the meter? Yeah. Oh, that's She's so a cool. very meter heavy character. Okay, so it makes sense why she wants to steal the meter. Yeah, I'm gonna burn all that, bro. You don't need that, right? I do. No, you don't. Ooh. I, okay. You gotta get out of this corner, bro. Oh. Okay. Yo, that move kinda. That's a good <laughs> that's, a, that's a good button right there. Yo, these are all her buttons, by the way. Oh, all the crack okay. Uh -huh. uh oh. Oh, the Thank you, grenade. There. Thank the grenade you. was still there. I told you, man, to look out what grenade does, bro. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That little teddy bear got to go, bro. You might need it when you sleep. <laughs> but I'm going to move that out of the way. All right, he's got to get shot. Okay. Woo. Oh. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Ooh. Is that going to work? Come on. Oh, yes! I might be dead, actually. You gotta watch I think this. I actually might be dead. I told you, bro. <laughs> this is what I got to do to you, bro. So these grapple players. I'm still in there. You lift? Oh, no. Hit missiles. Oh, yeah. They're coming in. Guard bar. Bro, look how many guns she got. So many guns. <laughs> look how much she's got on bro, her. Bro, she got so many guns, bro. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so, so crazy. <laughs> oh, this character, this, this dude, all these characters are so sick. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna call it there and move on. Yeah. Good games, dude. That was very fun. Oh my god, this game is super duper fun. I actually, you know what I was thinking this whole time? I was like, man, I can't wait to just go to the the, the tutorial mode and do all the trials. I know, with every single character yeah, and yeah. see what they can do. Because like, yeah. even even just messing around, not knowing uh, every character's like optimal combos, like I, you can still like jump in and have a good time. Yeah, I feel like if you just figure it out, it's like, oh, this works. You yeah. know what I mean? And, I, <laughs> and, I, and, and, and just like, it just makes me like like things like that. I just like just being able to like see things and be like, oh, I want to. I wonder if you could do this. I wonder if you could do that. And so cool. And even if you don't care about it, you can still go up in there and it just feels so like nice. You yeah, know what I mean? It feels totally. really good. So I'm really I'm really excited for the release of this game, honestly. All right. Uh, so thank you for joining us for some of that gameplay. We actually do have some more footage for you guys too. I think Ooh. to check out. Oh, so I'm gonna let the guys behind the table show off some stuff for you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Roll it. All right, there you go. You, I don't know if you guys were expecting another character today, but that's what you're getting. Yeah, and I and I got another sword also. I know I, you you were the swords, dude. <laughs> yeah, I we know. can't get you away from like, the swords. It was just like, man, this new character is like lost sword. I'm like, yo, the sword we needed to find <laughs> anyway. You know, the whole time we were playing, I was like, I wonder if Twitch Chat's talking about the uh, the the character that we're not looking at in the in the corner that's grayed out. But that is the last character on the roster uh, for you guys is Lost Warrior, who's super super sick. Like I cannot wait to go and try all of their moves. Like look seeing the trailer and seeing them in action, like seeing all the like the cool teleports and like the spectral swords. He looks so sick. And how do you uh, acquire him actually? You get him by playing through the story mode. So for wow. you out there who want to That's be playing this single player content, there are unlockable characters, boss characters in this game for you guys to play the play the story mode and experience. So I'm really excited to play that myself. Uh, when I get home, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm actually, I actually want to play it for my stream. You absolutely should. Yes. You absolutely should. I'll turn in. Yes. Um. So yeah, just su surprise you guys. There's one more character. Uh. So don't forget, DNF Duel is open for pre-orders right now. Uh. So you guys can get it uh, digitally or physically on PS4, PS5, and Steam. Um. Uh. Yeah. 
like I'm super stoked for this game. Uh, I thank everybody for coming in and checking us out as well, seeing the characters and. Dude, I just want to say, man, for a fifty dollar game, uh, for <laughs> for all this content, I mean, the best part is you still get a character. Uh, playing story mode and like believe it or not I like things like that I you do know? too yeah. you know like uh, when Blaze Blue did it for Susan I was mm -hmm. really excited about that or like when Street Fighter 4 did it when you get to play you get to unlock these characters throughout the character story I thought that was super cool and I really like that like you know fighting games uh, kind of gives you that like arcade feel of like you know playing like through the arcade mode or something you get something out of it like story mode so I always thought that was cool that was a big thing I used to do back in the PS2 days totally like right that, you know so uh I think uh, having that little secret surprise is always great. It feels so old school. It makes me feel like yeah. a kid again. Yeah. Where it's like, I'm, I'm like, oh, do you know there's a secret character you can get? Yeah. Like, like telling people on the playground. Like, yeah, it makes me dude. feel like a kid again. So and, I, I'm pretty stoked. And then, you know, you know, one of the big surprises that I always do is like, so I used to go to my friend's house and play, and I'm like, wait, he's in that, he's in this game? <laughs> oh, yeah, you got yeah, to do this. And I'm like, you know, I, I, that's really cool. So totally. I'm really happy that they're uh, still keeping things like that healthy, uh, you know, just for the – just the just the feel of things, uh, you know, and yeah, I I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I want to play it so bad. I I just want to sit in training mode <laughs> and lab in lab. It's a really fun game to lab. Yeah, like, I'm I'm excited to see what people come up with this game as well. I think yeah. there's uh, even more footage for you guys too. Wait, what? Ooh, roll it. There you guys go. So if you uh, wanted to see a bit of a recap of everything we've talked about, that was a good trailer doing so. All the different game modes, all the different characters, story mode, uh, all that content uh, available for pre-order right now. The game comes out on June 28th. Uh, you can get it on PS4, PS5, and Steam. Uh, we recommend pre-ordering at your local retailers. Uh, you can get it as well at our Anime Expo booth, which we will be at. And so if you guys are in the LA area and you want to come out and visit us, we're at booth uh, 3711. Uh, in the exhibit hall, I will be there um, showcasing off the game, uh, playing matches with people, uh, we have lots of new merchandise for you guys as well. You can get copies of the game there. So uh, super stoked to see you guys again. Uh, I love Anime Expo. I love conventions, and it's been forever since we've been at one. So mm -hmm. I think we're all excited to see you guys in person again and be as safe as we can be. Um, but yeah, we hope to see you guys there. Hope to play some DNF with you guys there as well. If you guys uh, wanted to try the game, we'll have demo stations there as well for you to give it a try. Nice. That's really cool. And then we also have some other releases as well. Uh, so Ground Drivers, which is a, a game that we're releasing as well. Uh, we should have some pre-order info for you guys uh, on the screen soon. But uh, we're going to play a trailer for you to see what that game is all about. I'm 
なる世界へ飛び出そう君にとってとってつないで世界地平線のどんどんこの星助ける意地が君を守る Alright, so there's the trailer for Ground Diver. It's coming out June 30th for the Nintendo Switch. You can get your copy pre order right now. It's super duper cute. I'm personally super excited for this game.、Uh, I can't wait to try it out myself. It's coming out June 30th. Wow.、Mm-hmm. Just around the same time as DNF Duel. So if you are、uh, another、uh, sort of arcade style, like digging sort of game, is your speed.、Uh, we also have some other titles available for you soon. So highly encourage you guys to check that out. I adore the art. I think the game is super duper cute, and、uh, I can't wait to play it myself.、Mm-hmm. So. Go ahead and、uh, check that out for Nintendo Switch. Like we said, coming out June 30th, pre orders are available. And I think that just about wraps up our show for this Arc Live.、Uh, as a reminder, we will be at Anime Expo.、Uh, so we encourage you guys to come visit us there, try out DNF Duel,、uh, check out some merchandise. We actually have some new merchandise to show you guys at the end of this show.、Uh, so sitting next to Kizzy on the couch, we have、uh, something I'm very excited about. It's just the Mr. Dolphin plush. Can you hold up to the camera, Kizzy? Yes. He's so cute. I love him. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, you just、not. don't like May. Don't take it out on Mr. Dolphin. Mr. Dolphin is he is not complicit to you getting hit by Totsugeki a million Tell times. Tell Daisuke to nerf May. <laughs> and, I will, and I will respect you, all right? All right, Mr. Dolphin. We have a ton、right? of new merchandise for you guys、uh, from Guilty Gear Strive.、Uh, we have、uh, Mr. Dolphin plush. We have a plush of Ray coming out as well. New shirts, restocks of old merchandise. So the Nagaruki shirt that I'm wearing is coming out as well. If you didn't get your chance at a May hoodie, a May hat, or a Ramathal hat before, those are coming out. We'll be posting reminders of all of our new merch on our social media. So I highly encourage you guys to check us out on Twitter and、uh, check us out there to see what's coming out of the booth. And、uh, in case you were.、Uh, Oh, yeah, there's another friend here, too. We'll also have more of Dota Mazaki at our booth, who has been out of stock on our online store for a while. But if you're a Chip fan, his little buddy's here, too. Yes. I mean, we only see him one time in the matches. <laughs> But the one time he shows up is pretty sick. Yeah, he comes out really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he, comes flexes, out, he flexes and dips. He, he, com- yeah, he, knows com- to, he knows not to overstay his own. He comes through in 20 frames. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah> . It's <laughs> all good, bro. You did a good job. So before I have anyone ask,、uh, You know, the Mr. Dolphin plush is really cute, but why didn't you guys make a life sized one? Or when, when can I buy my, my real life Mr. Dolphin? We did. So, <laughs> 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 so he is sitting outside、uh, of the studio right now in our office,、uh, just keeping guard over everybody. But that is a one to one scale Mr. Dolphin plush that is going to be at our Anime Expo booth.、Uh, so if you're a May fan or a Guilty Gear fan in general, I, I encourage you to come out, buy a May hoodie, take a picture with Mr. Dolphin. He is absurdly huge. He is ginormous, and I love him. And he can be yours. We're actually giving him out at the show. So come check out our booth for more details on how to enter the giveaway.、Um, but he needs a, a loving home. And so I hope to see you guys at the booth.、Uh, somebody lucky will get to take him home with them and、uh, Totsugeki their way back from the LA Kimmy. You know, you know what's funny? This is, the, this is the Slash version of Totsugeki. <laughs> and that's Heavy Slash. That's the Heavy Slash. That's, that's, that's slash. the heaviest Slash. Yeah, heaviest slash. That is the heaviest Slash heavy Dolphin slash, I've ever、yeah. seen. Very Heavy Slash.、Yeah. Next to Mr. Dolphin, too, you can see the little plush of,、uh, of Ray that we'll be selling. Uh, Giovanna's、uh, ghost companion. So、mm-hmm. I'm super stoked for you guys to see him、uh, in person. Please come out and take pictures,、uh, share pictures of him at the booth.、Uh, oh no. Oh, oh God. No. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> heavy Slash. Yo, Tosugeki. Heavy slash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the picture does justice just how huge he is、Probably. because. 
I, I drove him to the office today, and the <laughs> stares you get having this in your passenger seat is you, you get some good looks. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's magnificent, and I love him so much. So uh, please please come check us out at Anime Expo. You gotta get his face in camera, dude. You gotta get his beautiful beautiful face. But it's glorious. So. You understand how unhappy I am right oh, now. Oh, you're well. You're just getting crushed by Mr. Dolphin like you do in games. So yeah, dude. you're living the guilty gear strive experience. I I don't want to live the experience. No you more. have max risk gauge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, my, yeah. You always gonna break our set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. That just about does it for this ARC Live. Thank you so much, KZ, for coming in and checking out DNF with us. Uh, where can people follow you? Uh, you guys can follow me at Twitter at KZ underscore, underscore K uh, on Twitter. And if you guys can follow me on Twitch, it is twitch.tv slash KZK310. That is K-I-Z-Z-I-E-K-A-Y 310 all together. And you guys can support the boy. And make sure you guys subscribe on my YouTube at KZK, youtube.com slash KZK. We're on our way to 100K right now, subscribers. So, you know, if you guys want to see your boy, be supported. Yo, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button subscribe button and thank you guys so much for having me Arxis. absolutely anytime I, I am super excited to play this game yeah same here uh, i'm sure not excited to bunch. see another may uh <laughs> another tosageki you know yeah. what i hope after this too is that your 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 twitch just gets flooded with like kizzy getting hit by know. tosageki memes you're gonna come back to your stream and it's just gonna be like oh kizzy getting counter hit again yeah i'm like hit I'm mashing like, buttons on plus frames again I'm getting like, counter hit i'm like god dang it man. <laughs> Dude, i was like i should have just stayed home <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. We're going to sign out for today, but uh, see you guys online in DNF soon and at Enemy Expo. And have a good one. Thank you so much.